Hey there again, Marvin here. So this week we're actually going to be talking about something that's pretty basic inside your Reamaze account, and that's how to set up your first email channel, and then how to set up forwarding for that channel. Now, what we mean by forwarding is, you know, Reamaze is designed to be a help desk that's supposed to capture all of your customer conversations and your customer emails. And in order to do that, um, we need to make sure that you're forward, you can forward emails from an existing address that you already have. Um, for me, this, from this demo, I'm going to be using daffydemo at gmail.com. I'll pretend that most of my, all my com customers' emails are coming into my Gmail inbox. But now that I'm using Reamaze, I want to make sure everything that comes in here will be forwarded into my Reamaze dashboard. And this is a fresh account that I've created for Reamaze, and there's nothing in here right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and click on this setup email button. And my new mailbox is ready, and this channel is called support. And the address that we automatically create for all of our customers and all of your email channels, this one is support at verifier007.reamaze.com. Every time you create a new channel, a new email channel, to be to be specific, you will actually receive an email address for that channel automatically. So now that this is ready, I'm going to go ahead and click on connect to my email address. And I'll input daffydemo at gmail.com. Okay. And this is the custom email address that I want to use. And this arrow here is representing that there is a forwarding action from daffydemo at gmail.com to support at verifier007.reamaze.com. I'll go ahead and click on next. And it says here, next set up email forwarding as shown above. Instructions for the most common email service providers can be found in this article. And it just so happens that I know how Gmail works. So I'm gonna now at this point go to back to Gmail, go to settings, go to the forwarding tab, add a forwarding address. And I wanna make sure I copy this address here now remember, this is the email address for my support channel inside Reamaze, and I want to be forwarding emails from here to here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that here. Click Next. Hit Proceed. A confirmation code has been sent to verify permission. Now in the background here, the, e the confirmation email from Gmail actually just popped in here. I'll go ahead and uh, check my Reamaze inbox. It's going to open in a new tab. Click on that. Copy this confirmation code. Go to Gmail. Paste that here. Verify. And make sure you select this radio button and then hit Save Changes. Now keep in mind that not every single um, email provider will require that code. Sometimes it'll just automatically work. But if it does, go ahead and just you know do what I just did. And if it doesn't require a verification code, you can just you know confirm and say yes, I've completed forwarding, and Reamaze will actually test everything for you. We'll do a verification on our own. And if you wait for a few seconds, Reamaze will confirm that everything's set up. You'll get the green check mark. Email forwarding was set up successfully. Emails sent to daffydemo at gmail.com will appear in your Reamaze inbox. Go ahead and click close. And this is the confirmation email. We don't really need that. So we'll archive it. Now, everything is set up at this point. Gmail will say, you are forwarding your email to support at verifier007.reamaze.com. And now, every time customers email you here, you can receive them here. And if you reply here, everything will be synced up with your, e with your Gmail as well, or whichever email provider you use. So this is what we mean by email forwarding. It's pretty straightforward. And obviously, if you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out to us. And if you want to do a, some sort of test on your own, make sure you're not using a staff, uh, a register staff email to do any testing. And obviously, don't use this original, the, don't use the email address that you're forwarding from to do any testing. Make sure you're just doing it um, from, a, from a different email address. So right now, if you go into settings and you go to staff, there's a staff email address here. Make sure you're not using this one, okay? And then everything should work properly. So if you have any questions, make sure you reach out to me directly at marvin at reamaze.com or our team here at support at reamaze.com, okay? Great, thanks.